or what is this? Can I sing? That's the best way to start this session is to have a recording of me telling Adam Craniotis to be quiet for the whole internet to hear. Shut uh, it up, sir. <laughs> so uh, welcome back, everybody. After the break, uh, thank you again for joining us today. Um, now we're going to move into uh, one of our steel sponsors um, and uh, folks we have partnered with, as Adam mentioned during the on a, a collaboration before. I don't know why you're, that's, there's a lot of you that I'm getting in my monitor right now. Um, Adam, just, <laughs> so I'd like, to, with, um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Simon and Michael from Wolf, who are joining us. I did not realize you guys were both joining us uh, together. That's very exciting. Here we are, live from Italy, actually. Wow, live from Italy. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, weren't you guys just recently in uh, in France? We were. <laughs> you can and, get around. Well, dig a little deeper, and and Michael here has been a few uh, a few other places uh, since uh, linking up with me in uh, in Paris. Oh boy! We started our journey in uh, Geneva Watch days. Uh, found our way through uh, south of France on the way to Barcelona, to Germany. Uh, Paris, and now here we are in Vicenza. All right, well, you are, are living a dream that, that many of us can, uh, uh, well, only dream of. Because um, <laughs> travel does sound weird. But thank you guys so much for checking in with us, really. Yeah. Good to see you, good to see you both. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Um, so what I, what I think you guys have a, a presentation for us, um, but, uh, uh, you know, we can, we can also kind of freeform chat. We've got our you know, red bar, I can't, let's see, I have to put it really, I have to take the virtual background off if I want to show the, the press that I've got sitting next to me. But, um, so um, let me know, like, let's, uh, let's get started. We can jump right into it. And um, I see you've already, you've got some beverages there as well. So. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I have to. Evening here. Yeah. Six, yeah. 6.30. Yeah. I got my coffee. It's, it's. Ah. <laughs> um, well, bar is half the name, so. Uh, that's our that's always been our uh sort motto. Of yeah. motto yeah so um let's jump into it simon like tell tell us tell us what you guys are up to and and, and if you do you want to um share your screen or because uh, our tech guy has uh, has the uh, presentation as well if you want to drive I'll totally I'll fine share it uh I'll, I'll try sharing and um yeah it works great if it doesn't we can flip back to your guy okay uh, Cool. So, yeah, we could jump into that unless, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that? In. Let's do that. All right. Before, All right. You, oh, before you do that, I just want to comment, uh, Michael, I'm, I'm enjoying the red, the little pop of red that you've got going on. Well, there's, yeah. a, there's a bit more of a story there. <laughs> that doesn't belong to him, she nor does, does the jacket. And the, re the shirt. Nor does the shirt. And the reason is he's made it all through all these countries, all across all these borders in the last uh, three weeks of being in Europe. I was supposed to bring his bag from Paris to here because he was making a quick stop up to Munich. They lost the bag. So now he has no clothes but the ones that he's wearing, basically, and they were borrowed. Um, so, uh, yeah, he might be going to H&M tomorrow uh, to, do, uh, to do a spot of shopping. Yeah, it's a little, you're accidentally on brand. That's uh, like for, for this. For I, this. Say, I say H&M because they're next door to the hotel we're in. It's, yeah, random. All right. Pair of the Italian pants that yeah, are high on the ankle. That are too short. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he looks good, though. He's very sporty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm digging it. Yeah. You need a yeah. beard now. Uh, and then I the black, the and then I think, I yeah, I think we're I talking. I beard, but I shaved it. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna discuss this later. <laughs> so let me uh, let me share away here. Um, we've got quite a lot of ambient noise here. The show just ended at six thirty local time here in Italy. Um, hopefully, they're gonna turn the music off as well. I don't know, but uh, it's getting a little quieter. Anyway, here we go. We can hear you great, though. Yeah. Okay. Good. You can see this. Yes, we can. So uh, where do I start? It's um, it's very. Um, humbling of me to say that we've been in business for uh, over 185 years, that I'm the fifth generation 
to take the helm of the business. I took over from my dad about 20 plus years ago. Uh, so we're a generational company, uh, been around for, as I said, five generations. And I don't want this to be too much of a presentation. It already feels like it is, but it's fine. unless somebody interrupts me, I'll just plow on with what I normally do, what we normally do when we're no, talking. I, to honestly, people. and I'm just going to say this once, though, your history is incredible. And uh, what you guys create is actually incredible. It's nice to sort of peek behind the curtain a little bit and see what goes into that. Yeah, well... It's, uh, now shut up. it's, uh, it's my life. Uh, it's what I grew up into. Uh, and, uh, I love it. Um, I love creating and, uh, having people like Michael, uh, with me is, uh, makes it even more fun. So what do we do? We, we make beautiful, beautiful, uh, uh, jewelry cases, watch boxes, and most especially watch winders. Uh, and that's, a unique thing because there aren't that many in this in this world and what we do is we do everything by hand we design from uh, a blank piece of paper a lot of it comes from this little noggin uh, we have designers engineers uh, both uh, electrical uh, as well as all the technical side when we started uh, a few years back with our with our own app uh, you know ultimately our goal is to look after those treasures that that we have watches uh, jewelry uh, and these are these are legacies. These are things that people may have gifted themselves, but quite often they are handed down through generations. And so um, we talk a lot about protecting people's legacies. Uh, that's what we do. And I'm, I'm very, very proud to do so. This is a, a picture which, if you can see, uh, the gentleman on the left is actually my father. This is uh, in uh, in. Um, uh, Shannon, uh, Southern Ireland, uh, the Western side. He, he started the, the company uh, actually in Ireland when he came over from uh, Sweden, my father's Swedish. And this is their first shipment made by those lovely girls uh, back in about 1961, I think it is. Um, it's just a, it's a lovely picture. Uh, that's, that car was what they used to get the boxes to the airport uh, and uh, fly them. Actually, that, that shipment, my father always told me, went to, went to, uh, went to America. So we just, we talk about our legacy because I'm the fifth and it's important to me that everyone kind of uh, can see that, you know, we, we, we've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, taking care of, of a watch or a piece of jewelry is, is our pleasure. And uh, it's, uh, it's, I think, what we do better than most others. Uh, can't be too presumptuous, uh, but uh, we love doing it. So there's a little bit of history. All this is on our website. You can go take a look at. Um, I'm going to share this video with you, which is um, part of our campaign. This, you're getting a sneak peek. We're not starting the campaign until uh, next week, um, but I'm just going to hit play and let you guys listen to uh, a very interesting chat. Watchmaking was always an admiration, fascination of my father's. And that propelled him to study it throughout his entire life. But his ultimate goal was to build a legitimate watch brand here in the US. When I think of legacy, I think of family and I think of purpose. Purpose is what drives us to achieve in life. And to me, ultimately, family is what carries on legacy. People went left, my dad went right, and I've followed that exact same direction. So having been in the industry from a young age, I knew that that was a dream that I would want to help fulfill. And it started helping out my father and working with him and apprenticing over with him and the watchmakers. And turned into later, now fast forward, you know, more than 20 years, my carrying forward of the brand and relaunching it here in the United States in a different direction. I think you'd be most proud of that I picked up the brand and I ran with it in a way where I'm comfortable in my own footing. And I think more than that, you'd be actually proud that I'm showing up to the office on time now. <laughs> This watch I'm wearing is a 1980s Tiffany Company powered by a Zenith of Romero movement. This watch is my family's legacy. So 
So I'm going to let Michael talk about this chap because I didn't have the pleasure of meeting him yet. He was in New York and Michael flew out to meet him and shoot this video. So I'm just going to ask Michael to talk to who Andrew is. Hey, it was a pleasure to, to meet Andrew and talk about his father, Oscar Walden, who would become a watchmaker during World War II. Uh, and shortly after the war, he would start working with uh, Zenith. And uh, many of us know the story already that, you know, the Zenith movement would really launch uh, the Rolex Daytona. And his father had a lot to do with the stockpiling of those movements and making them available. So when we have this discussion about what do you store in your wolf and why, uh, he was sharing with us, you know, a, you know, a very personal story that had a lot to do with uh, a little bit of the tapestry of the watch industry out there uh, today. You know, that he's, he's trusting Wolf to take care of his father's timepieces. And that particular one that he was wearing on his wrist is one that he's trusted in a Wolf for some time. Uh, you know, being a Tiffany & Co. Uh, Zenith movement that was very near and dear to their family. And now they, they are launching their watch brand uh, in here in the, or there in the U.S. Uh, it's really a fun and special story to spend the, the day with Andrew as we, we explored what Wolf means to him and why he chooses to use a Wolf. And if you're reading the, the, the page here, you'll see that there is a, uh, an area on our site, share your legacy, fill out a postcard and uh, get a free gift. Um, that link actually is not live yet until next week. Um, so you're very, very early. Uh, the site's uh, just about to have that uh, populate. But um, yeah, we're, we're interested in hearing people's stories, uh, most notably about watches, as that's, that's really interesting to us. And um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be going live next week. Here's the collaboration. We thought we'd throw this beautiful slide in. Uh, you know, to all the people that are, that are looking at this, uh, I'm the head designer uh, of, uh, uh, for, for Wolf and the owner, of course. Uh, and it was a real pleasure to do this. We talked about it for quite a few years with uh, Adam and, and Kathleen. And uh, just putting the idea uh, on the table and then different iterations of designs and then them honing in on what they liked the most, what they thought you guys and girls would like the most. Uh, it, was, it was really great. So it, 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 it came together very nicely. Um, and I'm very, very proud uh, of this collaboration. It's, uh, it's a great looking, uh, great looking collection. You've got a single watch roll, uh, you've got a single watch winder, uh, the double, and then the eight piece uh, watch box. And I think it's important to point out that both the single and the double watch winder are fully controllable. Uh, we know that the, the watch enthusiast, the red bar member, uh, wants to be in absolute control of their, how they care for their timepiece. So it, it wasn't enough to have a winder that would manage 80% of the watch world. Uh, only a wolf counts turns per day. Every other watch winder on the market simply guesses. They, they estimate based on time. On these watch winders here, they're fully programmable so that you can program your number of turns per day that are necessary for your watch. You can find all that information on our website. Uh, our friendly customer service folks can certainly help you as well. And we also obviously know that many of you already know that information. Uh, but this, this key to this collaboration was understanding the needs of you as a customer. And that's why it's so key here to point out that it is fully programmable. Uh, it's not a, not a plug and play. It lets you do what you would like. You can uh, rest assured that the, the watch is always going to be safe. It, it locks inside the drum on the cuff. And as Michael said, you can program it uh, direction, uh, number of turns. Uh, there's a start delay for watches with a power reserve. So we cover all the bases uh, and, and we'll wind every single watch on the planet that's an automatic. Nice shot, uh, close up shot. Uh, watch storage, I'm just going to sort of go through these quite quickly. Uh, we do all sorts of uh, watch boxes, watch rolls. For travel for home uh, and it's, it's for us it's 
you know, we're always reinventing ourselves because uh, I get too bored doing the same thing over and over again. So this collection actually you're looking at here is called Memento Mori, which uh, is Latin for remember death. Uh, and, in, and in life, you have to remember that one day it ain't going to be uh, in us anymore, this life that we have. And so we have to re remember that 24 hours is a very special uh, amount of time that we're given every day. And we need to, oh, Ian, thank you very much. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> Yes. Now I've got three drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me drink some more coffee. So yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's it's what we love doing. Yeah, we we absolutely love making things that have a use. Uh, whether you own a, a watch or a piece of jewelry, it's 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 lovely for us. So I'm just going to blast through this. This is a Viceroy collection. Very Four, six, eight. Uh, you can buy a safe from us uh, that uh, is bulletproof, and um, uh, you can spend one hundred fifty thousand dollars if you like. Roadster is a beautiful collection that I got the inspiration from um, uh, cars that my dad drove back in the sixties and seventies. Uh, E-type Jag, and he even had an Aston Martin uh, DB5 back in the day. I'm still drinking. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I, I I don't know if their connection is uh Yeah, it broke it broke out a little bit there. Yeah. You guys were breaking up a little bit. Well I'll just plow on. Yeah, just plow through. Yeah. Uh we do a lot of accessories as well for the gentlemen uh and the ladies. <laughs> we have a collection called Plague. This is all the jewelry storage. I I, I think that this is um interesting for everybody because uh uh, everybody either has uh, somebody in their life, either themselves or somebody else has jewelry. And so we do a lot of jewelry storage, which is huge, huge for us. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. I, you know, I'm, mute. I'm muting again. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's uh, just a little visual thing for everybody to see. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we, we, we love doing what we're doing and um, working with you guys through that collection. The collaboration was fun, and we want to do some more things with you. Uh, so when we're when we're ready for that, we can. Yeah, yeah I, I just have to say it was a great process, um, and uh, again, it's nice to have a professional helping uh, guide us, as it were. But once again, a collection that popped out that when we were sent the, uh, you know, the the prototypes that were basically finalized, it was like holy shit. That looks nice. They're really so the the thing I want I we actually got asked about the collaboration process in the last session with Frederic Constant, so I'd like to address that here. Um, so you, this was a, a, our our collaboration was a long time coming. We started initial conversations over drinks in like a few years ago, and uh, and weird. <laughs> that was right. That was a, a craft. It was a craft bar. A craft bar, which is now closed, actually. Yeah. Um, but uh, but they brought back the menu as a pop up right now. So okay, so that's good. The eight there is now available at Craft. Um, but we had some drinks, and then every time we would see each other, we'd have some more drinks. Um, you might sense a running theme here, everybody. Um, but you know, at at one point, we finally had said, okay, I think we're ready to do this. You know, we got um, and and I just walked around the the wolf. Uh, you know, kind of area at Basel World with you guys, and like we kind of went, what are the possibilities, and 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 came mm -hmm. up with sort of a, a direction to go in, um, and then you the um, you know Wolf sent us some some renderings, and and you know we gave some feedback, but like yeah it, it, it was a really sm once we got it um the ball rolling it was really smooth process um you guys took all of our needs and requests into into account and um i am really happy with how they turned out i think they're it's just it's just beautiful stuff and I, i'm going to turn my virtual background off so that so that i i can uh ugh. as you're as you're fiddling around with the buttons there i'll i'll just say that you and I'm going to stroke you here, Kathleen and Adam. You guys were very easy to work with. We we do uh, we don't do very many collaborations at all, but we work with a lot of different retailers. Uh, and 
normally it's like pulling teeth to get them to make a decision and actually know what they want. Uh, you knew what you wanted. Uh, you had a, a clear idea of the aesthetic. Uh, it made it quite easy for us uh, to, to execute. Well, that's good. Um, so I do have, I have the, this, this is, now Michael, you maybe Michael or Simon, you guys can speak to this, but the single watch winder, um, when we launched this, um, this was, this is the only single watch winder that you had with the, I forget what the, you, you're going to have to get into it's the called a cub. Yeah, It's called a cub and we don't do a cub uh, with anything other than a, it's a pre-programmed um, and it's pre-programmed for 900 turns per day, uh, both directions. So there is, there aren't that many limitations, but there are a few uh, to, to watches that it aligns. So we have put for you and you only um, uh, the module in there that allows the programmability that Michael was talking about. So that's, it's a one of a kind. We haven't done it for anybody else. We don't have any plans to do it for anybody else. So it's, it's pretty unique that your guys and girls can get a programmable uh, single winder uh, from Wolf. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's very cool. It's really, really cool. I, I absolutely love it. And I, and I love the, 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 I basically, I love the whole collection. I, Adam and I kind of, you know, decided which of the, um, which of the pieces we were going to get from the, the ones that uh, you guys sent over. Um, I, I chose to keep the eight watch box because I have a lot of watches and I mean, so does he, but I just, I, I chose to keep that. Well, I have a lot of boxes and, you know, and I, I like to travel. But he does like to travel. Remember, I mean, you guys are traveling. We don't, we haven't traveled lately, but. Yeah, I didn't realize I wasn't going to be traveling. Yeah, so I've got um, the watch box and it's like, it actually sits and I, I know this, <laughs> this totally sounds like an ad, but it's not, it's like, I bought a, wa a wolf safe. I, I, I was like, okay, I was, I was, you know, I was in the process of, I bought an, I bought a place and I was renovating it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to design my closet in a way that like has room for safe. And, and I saw your safes again, we were at Basel or Vegas or somewhere. We were somewhere, we were somewhere in a room together, which was great. <laughs> and it had and drinking. <laughs> they were like drinking and probably. Definitely drinking and um, and and I saw the safes and I was like, oh, these are really cool. And then I, I like I emailed Michael and I was like, what what are the specs, you know? And and um, I fully customized to my requirements. Um, and I, I also will say it was the the guys who delivered and installed it were amazing. Like they laid down all kinds of stuff on my floor to make sure they didn't damage it. They were like super super amazing. They, they were super careful with everything. They made sure that the, like, that everything worked before they left. It was, it was really good. Like it was a great customer service experience in, in as well. And like I said, I, I bought that. I like, we, it wasn't like a, a gift or anything like that. I bought the safe and it, the watch box sits on top of the safe. So it's like this, like it, it's my favorite thing. Cause when I, op every time I open the, the door, to like get something out of my safe, I see the the watch box and the like the saturation that you guys got in the red, like mm -hmm. just it just makes me happy every time I look at it. So, um, so I'm just like I said, I couldn't be happier with how these turned out. You guys like you listened to everything that we wanted and 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 it came out better than we expected. So we we really appreciate that. Um, so so uh, there are a few questions. Um, mm, yeah. Folks, so we have one of our one of our my good friends Sam is in the chat. Sam is vegan, so a lot of things that when he tries to you know when he goes out and he's looking for products on the market, um, you know finding a non uh, animal based uh, leather is difficult in in a lot of cases for straps or whatever. So why why do you guys because um, these these products are all in a, in a vegan leather, so it's it's not not an animal hide. Um, what was the thought process in, in going with it, with that um, material? Well, uh, I am a vegan also, and um, a little bit rabid at times about veganism and what I, why I think it's so good for the planet. Uh, more of uh, what we offer is becoming available in, in vegan uh, leather. You know, there's, there's a trade-off. Uh, you know, it, it is it's an oil-based product um it's not exactly 100 percent clean but um 
compared to what is affected by farming animals, you could argue we have to go. Okay, yeah, we're going to get a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Thank I you. I got security with a gun telling us we have to leave because it shows. What? The shows are over. <laughs> yeah, and he's about eight foot, and uh, I've never yeah. seen an eight okay. foot tall. Yeah. Uh, but no, we can. We'll just hang out. No. Uh, the uh, the idea for us was to offer something to somebody like Sam, for instance, who didn't want to buy an animal-based product, and and so we offer both, and it's near and dear to my heart because. Um, I don't like, uh, I don't uh, think eating meat's uh, such a great, uh, a great thing. So um, it's, it's, you know, we react to what customers ask us for. Uh, I always say if I hear it 10 times and I got to actually pay attention because it, it's something that needs uh, adapting or changing. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, I like using <laughs> vegan leather very much. Cool. Um, so there's a couple of questions about um, your products. Um, Ask quickly, you're going to get shot. I know, I don't want you guys to get shot. Um, the, um, one of, somebody said, why do some winders with storage come with the longer finger cushions? They don't work great on smaller bands, but you guys, cha you guys changed, I guess, your customer service. Again, good customer service. You guys have great customer service. Changed out uh, uh, his finger cushion. Um, so he's just, he's just curious about yeah. that, the size. Well, that's, that's a really, really good example of, of how we adapt as we hear uh, you know, comments. This is probably the one that he's talking about, mm -hmm. which is quite a structured size. Um, smaller bracelet strap may, may struggle to go around that. This is the newer version, which actually has these little lugs on the side. This does a couple of things. Um, it allows for a much softer, more flexible cuff that you can get different sizes on. But when it sits inside the box, these lugs actually rest on a support so the watch will uh, be lying uh, completely horizontally, which is a very, very, yeah, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Whereas this little guy will actually sit wherever the strap or the deployment bracelet uh, is, is underneath. So it may not be exactly straight in, in the box, whereas this is, this is suspended. So this is an update, this is a newer cuff, and that's the cuff we use, uh, the cushion, in all of our watch boxes on, 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 new, on, on new, uh, new, new ideas, new collections all have this. There's nothing really wrong with that one. It will work. And if it is a bit too small, then just don't use it and lay the watch inside the, the little hole, the little well uh, that, the, that the cuff fits into. Hey, I've got a, another a winder question. Um, is the watch winder programmable with switches or some kind of interface? So how, do the, how does the um, programmable winder work? So there are, um, if you go to our website, you can, you can see the product very clearly. There are two knobs. One is the on off switch and one is a directional control. And the on off switch also has a start delay. So you can click it to the third position and then you can have a start delay for watches with a power reserve or that are fully wound. You can go from four hours to 72. So that's the right hand knob, which is basically on off. The left knob is directional control. Position one is clockwise, anti-clockwise, and then the third position is bi-directional. So if you choose bi-directional, However many turns per day you've chosen is always double. And then turns per day is controlled by the two little push buttons that are inside of the, uh, the two knobs and outside of the little uh, uh, LCD uh, readout. And on top of that, the 1834 cabinets and safes uh, are controllable by the Wolf app, which you can download from the Apple Store or Android Store. Uh, and this allows you to control every uh, for your cabinet or safe, allows you to control the winding structure from your phone. And then, as we mentioned before, the cub winder, this is going to manage uh, a high percentage of the watches in the marketplace. The more complications, the, the more complicated the watch in general, uh, the more you're going to want to have a programmable unit. So there's really three touch points that are happening there as far as how you control the winder. Great. Um, so we have a question about safes, um, whether you make TL rated safes. Sure. So uh, the Atlas collection is, uh, is uh, fully rated, UL listed, uh, TL uh, R1, R2. Uh, the Churchill collection is a fully bespoke safe experience. Uh, you know, this safe is where you choose the leather, you choose the wood, you choose how many winders. You choose what the consideration in each drawer is. 
Uh, you know, we all live in our own circles of security. Uh, perhaps you have a doorman, perhaps you live in a gated community, perhaps you have an alarm system in your home. Uh, this is really provides you the, you know, the ultimate of security in addition to where, where you're protecting your timepieces uh, as well. And all this information is available on the website. You click on safes, you'll see Churchill Atlas, everything's detailed there. Great, thank you. Um, we have another question um, uh, from someone that's asking if the winders can be repaired out of warranty. So if they're if they're past their warranty time, can they be repaired? Uh, we get to brag a little bit. Uh, less than one half of one percent of our total production ever shows up with a uh, with any kind of warranty issue. Uh, we know this because uh, every winder comes with a serial number similar to your timepiece. Uh, should something happen to your winder, uh, either inside or outside of warranty, uh, you can make arrangements with Wolf customer service. Uh, they can bring that winder home back to the pack, so to speak. And when it gets there, our technicians will take a look at the winder. Uh, they will understand what can or cannot be done. We have an extreme luxury of having, time, having winders that are 10, 12, 13 years old that come back that, you know, as we innovate, they, they're not something that we still have parts for. Uh, so we, if we have the parts for it, uh, we'll take care of it uh, and uh, we'll uh, ship it back to you. Should uh, you send something to us that's inside warranty and uh, if we can't fix it logically, uh, make good sense of it, we're gonna send you a brand new one. Uh, if you send me something back that is outside of warranty, and we can't work on it, you'll get yourself a really nice loyalty discount uh, so that you know we're gonna take care of you. You don't have to go back to the, uh, to the well and buy yourself a, a watch winder at, at uh, full retail price. Uh, our, our task is to protect that legacy piece. Uh, we want you to choose Wolf when it comes to protecting the things that matter most to you. Okay, um, so there's a, a, couple of, a couple more questions about product. Um, one person wants to know if there are separate three pillow inserts available for the travel roll or only the single log design with the separators. A log design, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> log. We call it a cuff, um, but roll, but you call it anything you like. Um, we, we don't do a separate one. Uh, it is that size um, for a reason. It is, um, uh, it's got a sponge inside it, so it can reduce in size if you, you know, if you, if you have a watch that's uh, uh, got a smaller uh, bracelet or a strap. A uh, couple, couple things on. there. Uh, number one, uh, a lot of watch rolls don't have this. It's the watch guard. This is making sure that your timepieces when you travel don't bang into each other while you're traveling. Nobody likes a scratch and dent sail. Uh, so that's number one. The second part is inside of your watch roll, you have a beautiful capsule that you can open up and you can store cufflinks, uh, earrings, uh, whatever else Adam puts in this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a nice storage thing. Uh, so as a single log, this gives you an opportunity to put other things in there. Uh, you know, there, it, it, it's meant to be a functional piece of the overall design. That's great. Um, well, let's see, another question about cushions. Everybody, everybody's all about these cushions today. Uh, any plans to make the separating cushions for hexagonal watch rolls? Hmm. Uh, are we being asked that we're going to make a hexagonal watch roll? I, I think, oh yeah. The question was worded. Yeah. Kind of it, it, the question wasn't worded very clearly, so uh, I think that's the question. Yes. Um, we, we've actually done them in the past, and we found that they, because you've got angles, they take up quite a lot of space, and we're always about minimal amount of space and maximum amount of you know use, so to speak. So a round one is a much more efficient uh, use of space. Uh, the the new uh, watch rolls have a, a buckle on them, and actually that acts as a stopper, so the thing doesn't roll. Uh, yeah, we, we ask me ten, ask me nine more times, and I'll probably make one for you. <laughs> um, so, so a couple people were saying uh, that maybe uh, maybe Adam should try and see if he can fit the little tiny bottle of bourbon inside of yeah. the, uh, inside of the 
the interior the capsule. of the capsule and the in the watch roll. Um, so a couple of other empirically that yes, it will fit. It does fit. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. Um, there's a couple, a couple other questions. Uh, is there a rotation life on the winder motors? Um, gen like generally speaking, uh, no. We we have been partnered with a company called Mabushi from Japan for the better part of two and a half decades. Um, the motors that we use are actually used um, in other uh, um, for other uses, and one of them is for servers. And they actually spin incredibly fast. And we gear them down, we slow them down, so that the the, the, the drum doesn't you know spin so fast you wouldn't be able to see your watch. Uh, we've done accelerated testing uh, where we just never turn the watch winder off. Uh, we're probably up to about 30 years of accelerated testing and the motor just keeps going. So our motors aren't on all the time. A servo motor is on 24 seven and they're really, really put under a lot of stress. So we have had really zero, zero issues with, with motors. Uh, it's, a, it's a sturdy little thing that'll keep going almost forever okay um so that that actually ties into this next question um and you know please feel free to limit your answer to what you feel sh comfortable sharing but um it was just somebody was asking where your internal mechanical components like the motors are made so you already kind of touched on that um uh but uh so they're all made in japan uh, no um, so so let me let me take you through the process the, uh, the wolf process for, for making something absolutely we all I'm a complete control freak, um, and I like to control the process, whatever that process may be. In uh, designing the watch winders, many, many, many years ago, decades ago, we decided that to ensure that we had no issues ever with anything inside it, we would make absolutely everything ourselves in-house that we could. Making a motor, that is, that's a very technical thing, and uh, we, we decided not to do that. Uh, so we buy our motors in from a very, very reputable company. Um, everything else except the PC board, the, the printed board uh, that houses the electronics and the little uh, uh, computer chip that is programmed with our programs, everything else we make in-house. All the injection molding, um, all of the different cuffs, uh, the gearbox. Uh, what we do is we designed our own gearbox. It's a direct drive from the motor, it's geared down in the gearbox, and then the speed is regulated uh, into the drum. And our patent is counting turns per day, and we do that inside the gearbox. There's actually a little photo uh, uh, electric eye that sits inside the, inside the, uh, the gearbox, counting turns. Uh, so we control all of that. It's all done in, in, our, uh, in our facility uh, that, um, that means that we, we have this incredibly low um, uh, defective rate. We don't, really don't have one uh, because we make sure that everything we're doing, we do ourselves. We don't, we don't farm out, we don't uh, subcontract. We're buying everything, all the raw materials and making everything ourselves. So it's, uh, it's, it's basically a bulletproof product by the time it gets to the, uh, to the, uh, the customer, the end user. And, you know, and, our, and our testing process starts from the moment we uh, we start building. We test throughout the building of a, a watch winder. Um, and then we test uh, for 48 hours with a weight inside the uh, uh, module before it's even put inside a, uh, a watch winder. And then when it is actually finished assembled, then we put a weight in it again. And then we have this huge room with rows of watch winders that have all been finished by hand. And they go in there and they're plugged in for another, I think two days we, we have them. And they're basically testing and testing to make sure we don't have any issues uh, in, in the future. So it's a very vigorous, rigorous uh, process we go through. Great. Um, I have a couple of questions about the product products that are probably quick to answer. Um, Todd asks if you have any smaller profile safe storage boxes. He has two eight uh, watch boxes in his small safe and it's a little bulky and he knows that the simple answer is a bigger safe, but he- <laughs> <laughs> Small guy. Um, <laughs> We have, um, we have to go on our website and, and see the dimensions of some of the trays that we do. Uh, we do some uh, watch insert trays in a collection called uh, Vault. Um, that might work for him. Uh, so there's, there's a few options there, but without knowing the size of his safe, I can't, and just 
the the collection vault is based on the on the uh, idea of you're putting it in a vault. So it, it's, it's as standard as a size as you can get. There is no one size fits all, at least not well. Uh, but the vault collection will allow for watches that are on a cuff, watches that lay flat, your sunglasses, your jewelry, your earrings, your necklaces. Uh, so that should suit fairly well for a safe, but it depends on the safe, of course. And we're here for a larger safe if you'd like. <laughs> um, this is my favorite question. So far, what is the most bizarre request you've had with your bespoke safes? <laughs> Ooh, um, a, a pink one. Do they fit bodies? Oh, never mind. <laughs> we actually painted one pink. Like you did elephant in the room, like a pink elephant in the room. The uh, there you go. I, I'm not a huge gun guy. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's a big gun guy, but uh, right now we guns. are chasing a uh, a collection that they, for them to put their Beretta gun inside. Yeah. Uh, you know, is the is the safe uh, bulletproof? I personally have never thought of shooting at a safe. It sounds like a bad idea. Uh, but, uh, okay. you know, it, yeah, they're, you know what? As soon as you imagine it, there's something more weird coming around the corner. Of course. Um, Security just came by again and gave me the sting call. Hey, he's on the phone. Yeah, he now. just tapped his watch and kept going. <laughs> Don't We're good. get shot. We're good. This is 2020, no, no, no. all right? Just remember. Just gonna, hey, Adam, it's not America. We're in, uh, we're in Europe. Uh, we won't oh, get okay, shot. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you, know. you, you will watch it get drug out. That's what's going to happen. Um, one, one more question about with relation to security. Um, can any of the winders or boxes be secured to the ground or a cabinet, or is it only the safes? The person is primarily concerned about a smash and grab. Uh, only the safes can be bolted to the ground. Okay. Um, and then we've got a question about the safes again. Is there anything integrated into them to control moisture, humidity, and temperature? I love a good cigar as much as the next person. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've not, uh, yes, it's possible. Uh, when we're talking about a fully bespoke Churchill experience, uh, can we put a humidor or sure. something along that lines in a, in, a, uh, in a vault? Yes, we know it's possible. Have we done it? No, but uh, give us that challenge. We'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like you guys can can deposit it, that's all. Yeah. I feel like you guys would just, if we just give you some like really bizarre requirements and you'll just go, uh, why not? Let's have some fun. Let's do it. All right, guys. So that's it. The, your homework red bar members is to think up the most bizarre request possible <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, give it to the wolf guys. Um, so we've got Ben from Fratello asking a couple of questions. One is he want he wants to know if he can visit the the he lives near the Washington Roundabout warehouse and he wants to know if he can visit, and then secondly he um he has um he has a winder he has one of your winders and it sometimes flashes red for some time and then flashes green it seems to wind okay but he doesn't know why it flashes red. That's because it's, it's probably, becoming self aware. It, oh. <laughs> Becoming a tractor by yeah, you see that <laughs> yeah. vacuuming the floor. The um, the red line is probably a power uh, issue, either batteries or or the, the if it's plugged the in adapter. somewhere, it's getting intermittent power. Uh, the Washington roundabout that uh, he's referring to is uh, literally a stone's throw from the from the office. Um, we don't really have consumers come to the office, but. Uh, if he, uh, if, he, if he wants to, I'm sure we can make some time. I'm back next week uh, in the office and uh, we, we can say hello. Uh, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a working office. It's, it's not, not really driven for consumers. But, okay. uh, we're, we're, and I've already had the virus, so come see me. You're bulletproof. Yeah. <laughs> Bodies over there. Um, so the last question, and this one might be a little bit controversial so you but you you know we'd like your opinion um there's is a, the uh, mark asks is there's a lot he says there's a lot of debate in the vintage watch community about about whether or not a winder is a good idea because of stress on older parts and things like that so what are your thoughts about putting vintage pieces on winders sure i'll i'll take that one uh only in a wolf uh so a lot of watch winders 
out there. They do really cool things. Like you turn them on and they go round and 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 round. And they do nothing else. Uh, or they do cute things like magnetize your watch. The way that the Wolf is designed is it puts you in total control of counting your turns per day. And more importantly, it's how it turns. The patented algorithm is, you know, we as human beings, the vintage watch on your wrist, as you move, it needs a certain amount of power from your motion throughout the day. Uh, it is designed to receive motion. The winder is designed to mimic that motion. It has periods of rest and it has periods of activity. So in a 24 hour period, you're gonna have a period of full sleep. You're also gonna have a period of activity. So it's gonna go between activity, rest, activity, rest. So you at no time will ever have an opportunity to quote unquote, overwind your watch, even a watch without a clutch. Uh, you know, modern day era, everything has a clutch, but watches from a bygone era don't have a clutch. And you know, what happens is you can overwind them, not in a wolf, because we will rest, relax, rest, relax, so that you're never putting undue pressure on the mainspring. So never in a wolf, uh, after that, I can't speak anymore. It's possible. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, I apparently uh, Adam is of the opinion that the uh, the watch winder that has the red and green lights has became has become self aware, and uh, we are now uh, subject. Yeah, to this is the beginning of the end. Basically, they tried pulling the plug, but it had already taken over uh, our nuclear arsenal. So <laughs> it's nice knowing you guys. Yeah. So Adam, I, I'm originally from Oregon, and I don't know if you've seen any of the stuff that's going oh, on in Oregon. The entire I, state. I can't even, yeah. Thoughts and prayers to all of my family there. Yeah. But the sky is red, and it is very high oh, yeah. mountain. It is crazy. At 12 o'clock in the middle of the day, the sky is yeah. red. So we are becoming all self-aware. Yeah, something, something wicked has come. That's why I'm saying this is 2020. So I don't want you to, to get jacked up by an eight foot tall uh, Italian security guard. Um, we, we almost watched the, uh, the president of Frederick and Stott, North America get, get crushed in his car by a falling tree. There's like a hurricane coming. He's like, oh, I'm, just, I'm in my car. I'm like, this is, nobody wants to see this. This is gonna be live. So anything can happen, uh, it's 2020. It you'll, get, you'll, get, you'll get ratings. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Okay, so you know what? Go provoke the guy. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Go. Go to the eight hall. Your Ten. mama. Your mama. Just it, do that. It's like just that. a matter of who's past time right here. Just go. Mm. Don't do that, please. Do you have one other question? And I know this is a, like uh, as to whether uh, wolf winders have been uh, ever integrated into uh, other safes. Because I know you guys, you guys have, you know. Um, do, do other people just go, well, I want, you know, I have an existing safe and I'd like to integrate a winder. Is that, is that possible? Or, or is that, is that one of our bizarre questions that, uh, no, no, no. I mean, we, we get safe manufacturers, uh, coming to us all the time, wanting us to, uh, sell them our, uh, winders, which, uh, we tend not to do. Uh, really it's, we don't do that level of bespoke in an existing safe. It's, far easier to take um, one of our winders that's already made, uh, a cup for instance, and, and put that inside the safe. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, we don't go to that level. We would, we would like to start with a blank piece of paper uh, with Churchill and design it from the ground up uh, with whatever leather or wood the, the, the person would want uh, to choose. Cool. Um, Adam, do you have any questions for the guys? I mean, besides the fact that we like, you know, miss seeing you guys in person. Um, <laughs> any questions or comments besides the fact they've just consigned humanity to enslavement by thinking machines? Um, <laughs> hmm. I'll be honest, but you know. I'm it, it, the chat. I've never appeared on Pawn Stars. However, I will accept Michael Chiklis references. Uh, yes. <laughs> I have used uh, that for evil at least once. <laughs> you know, if it gets you a good table at the restaurant, I say go for it. But um, no, I don't have any questions. I have to, but I do want to say that uh, I actually learned a lot. Um, I, you know, I, I think maybe there are times where, where people can 
you know, look at the accessory side of this industry and, and maybe not think so much about that because obviously, you know, our focus is on the watches and all that other stuff, but there really is something to be said for having an accessory that complements your watch. And the amount of time and thought we put into selecting the pieces that, we're, let's just be honest, we're gonna throw away our money on. Nobody needs a watch anymore. So it's a very silly hobby, but it's something that brings us together that we love. You should have some nice accessories to, to reflect that. And so I don't know, for me personally, to hear everything that goes into the stuff you guys do, it's, it's a nice reflection on my watches as well. And I do have some really shitty accessories. I've got stuff that I, you know, got free at an event and, you know, I, my setup is not even remotely like Kathleen's. Her setup is dope as fuck. Uh, AF, sorry, there are kids watching apparently. But, um, but the few nice things that I have, it makes me happy. Like literally what I've done now with my, my watch roll uh, and maybe my wife might let me buy the winder, but probably not. Um, is, you know, I have all three of our previous red bar watches in here. And there's something to me about having it all together in a nice package that it just brings it, you know, it's like that rug that really brings the room together. So, so thank you. But I did know the amount of time and everything you guys put in there. And I'm just glad you had an opportunity to share that with other folks. Cause you guys are the real deal. You've been doing this forever. No, don't get cool shot thing, though no. <laughs> never we will outrun that the, the cool thing you mentioned is putting all that stuff together um you know all of us have somebody in our life uh either stuff that we're we're putting on our own thing or a significant other uh we do an amazing job in the watch world uh but there's also an awful lot of glory love. out there in the world and uh, you know, you should check out the jewelry storage as well because what we do in watches, we do equally well in jewelry. Uh, you know, so when somebody travels with a, a necklace or something, please don't put it in a little bag that it gets all twisted up and funky, tied across your Blanc Pond 50 fathoms. Uh, don't let that happen, please. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, have, I do have one more one more question popped up in the Q&A and folks, we, we are almost out of time. So if you have any more questions for Michael or Simon, uh, please put them in the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen. Um, we have, uh, uh, I know the answer to this, but Julian's asking if they're mains power or battery operated and if they are battery operated, how long do they last? So the answer is both, but I'll, I'll let you guys uh, address. Well done. Uh, the, the, uh, Life. Yeah, it, it, both um, up to three, up to three modules. We have battery and or AC power adapter, and the adapter that you get has got four pins, and they work around the globe. So if you're in America, we've got the pin for America. If you're in the UK, we've got the pin for the UK, Europe, etc. You just slide it off, slide on the one you want, and, and plug it in. And it's an adapter, so it, it, it in the UK we're on uh, uh, 240 volts, and in the US it's 220. So it doesn't matter where you are, you plug your winder in, you're good to go. Uh, batteries last anywhere from, and it depends on, on turns per day. So more turns per day uses more power. Uh, anywhere, Heavier watch. Anywhere from three, four months to six, eight months or longer. Uh, and it's a, bit, it's a bit fuzzy there, but depends on the weight of your watch, depends on the turns per day, the direction, et cetera. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good amount of time. Great. Um, I don't see any more questions, but yeah, I was, I was, I just kind of typed in the chat. Um, when I got these, cause I, I, um, as we've talked about on a previous chat, like I had a winder a long time ago. I never used it. It was just like some, again, some winder I got at like a, a it's like a gift with purchase or something like that. And then, in, and then I got these ones um, when they all came the the new um, our collaboration. And when I unpacked, when I unboxed it, like I took everything out, and I was like, "Why you guys really have thought of everything?" Like, like you said, you've got I can. It doesn't matter what country I'm in. I don't need to like order a country specific, you know, mm -hmm. for my for my winder. It comes with everything, so I can literally just pack this in the suitcase, take it with me, just bring just bring all of those all of that along. So um, I, I think it's it's pretty impressive because it's just like it, you've made it easy for especially for folks that go that travel around internationally. 
you know, if you want to take a single single watch uh, winder with you on your travels, it makes it super easy. Yeah, we, as I said earlier, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm all about the, the devils in the details and, and taking care of a lot of little elements that you don't actually see. We, we, we'll do changes within the module that you'll never see. No one will ever see it, but it's doing something that's just a little, a little touch. Uh, I like the serial number that, that Michael uh, mentioned earlier. Um, and nobody else in our world does serial numbers on watch wine. Nobody. Uh, why did we do it? We want to know exactly. I want to know which person was wrapping by hand the leather or the vegan leather, which person was actually assembling the gearbox. Because I know exactly what day and I know exactly which area of the, uh, uh, of the floor where we, where we make everything. I know who was working um, and, and, and how many they made that day. So that I can reference back with the production team and go, why, why is this winder making this noise? Or why is this doing this? And we know exactly, we can go immediately to the log and see who was on the production, who was making it, who cut the leather, who did the stitching. Um, and that just allows us to be smarter in the future. So that attention to detail, I'm really happy that you notice. And some of the things you don't notice are just, that, that's, that's good too. You just, you're not quite sure why you like a wolf more than anything else. You just, you just look at it and say, that's just better. Um, and that's, that's, that's great for me. I, I, I love, I love all those things that we do in the background. Yeah. Um, I like, I will say this, you started out by saying that you're, or you said at some point that you're a control freak and I'm really, really happy that you're such a control freak because like that, that yeah. level of detail kind of makes it into the product and it makes the product better. So we have a question for you. That's not related to your products. What, wa what watches are you wearing? Ah, Vanerai Luminar. Rolex Milgals. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> my nice CEO, yeah. This is my CEO managing director watch that I wear at trade shows like uh, today. That's I, was gonna I was going to wear my Panerai. I was going to wear my Panerai because I, I was, claimed it. But he was wearing it, so I thought I would bring my Panerai. Yeah, it's like whoever wore it first, you know, someone's going to have to go home and get changed. Um, you know, when the, the funny <laughs> thing is I actually packed the watch in my wolf watch roll and brought it across all of these travels purely because I know the love and the relationship with our friends at Forge, uh, BJ, Geronimo. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, I, at one point in time, lived in Grand Cayman, and we made a limited edition Oris timepiece with the USS Kitty Wake. And that oh. was the time I was going to wear. Uh, and then I put this on in the morning and totally forgot about you guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, next <laughs> time I'll wear the USS Kitty Wake Oris. Yeah, uh, I got to see that. So we have a question, um, one last question, which is back to product, sorry, um, which is, does the Red Bar Watch Roll have the jewelry capsule? Um, and, you know, um, I, this version of it does not. My wife was concerned that I was going to hide alcohol in there. So <laughs> she did insert herself into the design process. I apologize for that. I hide alcohol, okay. Uh, <laughs> We are, but you guys have given us a wonderful idea. This, this is, I believe, the start of a beautiful friendship. So there will be oh. more products to come. I yeah. see momentum behind the uh, the flask inside the watch roll. Yeah. Yes, yes, we we have something to discuss. If you guys make it out of there alive, oh shit! Covering now. <laughs> he just gave me a dirty look. All right. Here he comes. He is on his way. He, he's uh, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. There's officially a. Very good though. He, all right, it's time. These are the, these are the yeah, guys we are, the, we are literally being uh, surrounded. We're on the wolf. We're, we got a we're gonna let you go. guys go. Code blue. Code blue. Code red. All right, all right, guys. We'll, we're gonna let you go so you don't get dragged off camera uh, live. Yeah. That would make for some really compelling content. Um, but we'll uh, you know have a good rest of the show, and Thank uh, you. We'll see you soon, and we look forward to uh, more more uh, partnership down the road. Lovely, lovely. All right, guys. Be safe. Thanks, everybody. Travel safe, everybody. And we'll see you soon, and thank you for everything. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay, that was stressful. I don't know about you people, but um, I really I was waiting. Like I said, I was waiting for like a flying tackle from the side, uh, which did did not happen. I hope they got out. All right, so um, we're gonna